New tonight, a Muslim woman from New Jersey claims she was unfairly removed from an American Airlines flight at Newark Airport after saying a passenger in first class harassed her. She recounted it on social media. I'm a veiled Muslim woman on this flight and they're taking his word for it. They are literally coming to remove me from the flight instead of removing both of us, for example, or removing him. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. I hope you are well. Brothers and sisters, first of all, I would like to apologize for the background noise. Here are some celebrations going on and I have no power to stop it. I hope you understand. I'll try my best to reduce the noise as much as possible. Thank you so much. A Muslim media influencer and author alleged on Saturday that she was arrested and removed from an American Airlines flight in New Jersey after a fellow passenger made a complaint that he felt uncomfortable. I had the craziest experience in TSA this morning. An entitled white man behind me insisted on cutting me in line because I was still taking my shoes off. Amani Al Khatatbe, the founder of the website Muslim Girl, tweeted Saturday. When I said he could wait like everyone else, he started going off about how he's pre check and first class. When she protested to the man and security agents, she was told to cut it out, said Al Khatatbe. Later, after boarding her flight, Al Khatatbe was allegedly removed from the airplane because the other passenger felt uncomfortable. The last six hours of my life have been draining and traumatizing, she tweeted. He made me feel uncomfortable. This man sitting in first class. I'm a veiled Muslim woman on this flight and they are taking his word for it. She claimed that she was being removed while the man wasn't. American Airlines responded to at least one of her tweets, saying the airline was concerned about what happened. American Airlines said in a statement that it was aware an incident took place. We are concerned by these allegations and our team is working to understand what occurred, the company said in a statement. The Council on American Islamic Relations released a statement on the incident, with Nihad Awad, the CAIR National Executive Director, saying, the airline must immediately explain why it singled out Amani by contacting the police and ejecting her from a flight based on the word of a man who had allegedly harassed her. Brothers and sisters, Islamophobia is real. You may have personally experienced it or know a family member, friend or acquaintance who has. The new racism must be made known and fought against it. Brothers and sisters, remember the Prophet ﷺ was subject to horrible insults and hate crimes in his lifetime. He remained steadfast, patient and tolerant in the face of this Islamophobia. We must model the same behavior. Good and evil deeds are not alike. Requite evil with good and he who is your enemy will become your dearest friend. But none will attain this same, those who endure with fortitude and are greatly favored by God. Pray that God guides these people who mock the deen and one of God's prophet. Make dua that Allah guides those who hold Islamophobic views and practice Islamophobia. The Prophet ﷺ made dua for the Quraysh, asking for them to be guided because they were ignorant of what they were doing by committing Islamophobic acts and saying wrong things against Islam and the Prophet. So brothers and sisters, that's it for today. Share your thoughts about this incident in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and share this video. Subscribe to our channel for more. Until next time, Assalamu Alaikum.